Hello, Brick Dark here, and today I'm reviewing the Lego Ideas Friends the Television Series Central Perk Set with 1,070 pieces, 7 minifigures, and retails for $60 in the United States. I have not seen many episodes of Friends, so I'm pre-warning you that I do not know a lot about the show, and a lot of what I say might be inaccurate or cringy to fans of the show. Anyways, let's take a look at the figures. So the first minifigure is Joey Tribunati. I probably butchered that name. He comes with this pizza box, which might be a new print, I'm not too sure. Anyways, it's very nice and simplistic print. And a slice of pizza, with, which is just that print they've been using for several years at this point. He has an exclusive face, which on one side he looks very confident, on the other side he looks confident but less confident. And then removing his messenger bag, you can get a better look at the torso print underneath, which is not too complicated, but still a very nice inclusion. Here is Rachel Green, and she is in her waitress attire. She does come with two of the new cup pieces, one of which is attached to this serving tray, which is just the shield with the stun on top. As for the figure herself, she does come with this hairpiece, which isn't too common, some exclusive prints, and she does use Jin Erso's face print from Rogue One. And on the back, you can see a more neutral look, and on the front, an angry expression. But that's it for Rachel. Here is Chandler Bing, which, who comes with the old cut piece, as well as the laptop piece in black, which... You can open up, albeit it is a little bit difficult. Yeah. There, you can see there's some key and the screen. As for the figure itself, he does have an exclusive face print. You can see he looks annoyed on one side and pleased on the other, as well as an exclusive torso print, which is very nice. It's like a V-neck with a, I forget what it's called, vest on top. Very nice figure. Here is Monica Jella, who comes with a little chocolate pastry, as well as the yellow cup piece. An exclusive torso print, which shows some overalls. A not too common hairpiece. Um... And her face print is not exclusive, however, I just can't for the love of me name where it's from. I think it's from Star Wars, like Lieutenant Connix. I don't really know, honestly, but I know it's not exclusive. Here is Ross Jella, who comes with this red cup. A uh, nice exclusive torso print, as well as the sleepyhead hairpiece in black. As an exclusive torso uh, face print. And on this side, he looks happy. And on this side, he looks worried. And I don't know why, but he looks... That doesn't look human. He looks like a mole or something. But it does look like the show. The guy in the show. So I guess that he has that going for it. Here is Phoebe Buffet, who comes with a pink cup and a guitar piece. Which, this guitar piece is not too common. It's the same print as the one in the minifigure series. And I think it's the only set it came in. Uh, series 16, but very nice piece. And she has a very nice tour, so you can just see the shine on that. And her face print is that of the French contestant in Harry Potter, whose name is skipping my mind right now. She does have this hairpiece, which is not too common nowadays, and it's nice to get it. But yeah, that's it for Phoebe. Finally, here is Gunther, who is the coffee shop owner. He comes with just the broom piece. Nice exclusive torso print, and he uses Luke's face from... Star Wars. Now, I have heard people say that he looks, the Luke face print doesn't really work because it looks far too young for him. I don't really know because I've never seen Gunther in the show, but take that as you will. It's pretty hard to appreciate all the details and stuff in the central perk office from this view, or coffee shop. So, we're going to switch to this mode. So first you have these studio lights, which you can on oh, mini ball joints, so you can rotate them. They also have these parts, which are on clips, so you can move them as you like. You can also pretty easily remove 
the studio lights if you so wish so now you just have the coffee shop though these parts do look a bit empty without the studio lights there as for this center part it can remove you will you'll find there's a couch with two chairs both of which have stickers a very nice rug design which you can, if you can kind of see down there we have a table another chair right here which is not too which i think is the least original of the three types of chairs then there's a reserved sticker uh lego news newsprint which is i think the newer one some flowers and a coffee cup and i must say i really like the use of these rounded pieces in orange for the couch i think it works very well now with that area removed you can see a bit more of the central perk area another rug design with two chairs lots of three of these pieces in dark green which is pretty nice then you have this almost i guess like performance area or something you have this microphone which can easily be removed and replaced with the piano and the piano is a pretty nice design i will say though i don't like how easily those pieces come off the telescope pieces the legs of it so that's a little complaint and here you have two umbrellas, and they're not new colors for the umbrellas, but I think that's kind of sucks. You have a pink one and a black one, and we've gotten both of those before. So I think that they missed an opportunity to do a new color of that piece, moving it into the light. You have a hard hat, you have, there's some flowers, a couple of candles back there, this big service thing, which I think that is a print if I'm not mistaken and then at the very back you can see there is this exclusive print turning the build around you can see that there is this nice sticker for the coffee menu and there's also this nice little area it's very complicated like coffee machine where they use some interesting pieces like the genie lamp there's a lot of cookies in here just a little cookie jar, there's a little cash register, some coffee mugs and a curtain, and then this little back door that leads out. At the pretty, at the front, so there is the Central Perk little window design, which yeah, is a sticker. If I'm not mistaken, I did not build this set, so that's why I'm saying a lot of, if I'm not mistaken. You can reposition it so it's like facing out way facing out but you will see that there is some more doors a trash can and what i think is joey's makeup business i'm not too sure don't quote me on that but yeah and one last detail you can just about see it is this sticker that says phoebe buffet live tonight but yeah that's pretty much it for the build of the central perk Putting the seating area back in. That's pretty much it for the bill. Let's take a look at the box and then the instructions. Box for this is like a lot of smaller quotation mark idea sets in that it has this fold open like feature. You can see there's some nice detailing in the side interior of the box. And then on the back it shows just like another shot of the set. Instructions are pretty thick. Um, you can see there is the information about friends, which is basically where I got all the names from. Meet the designer. And then it repeats in, I think, Spanish and French. Don't quote me on that. I'm not good with languages and then on the back it shows an idea um, basically the lego ideas process and some other lego ideas sets might get the flintstones on and on though but that's it for the instructions so in all honesty this isn't really my type of set um and it's not my set actually it's my mom's set she got it for christmas and she asked me to review it I don't really have a strong connection to the Friends brand, and yeah, the figures are cool, and the and it's got a pretty detailed coffee shop, but 
I don't really have a good connection with this. However, that's me personally. So if you like friends, this is definitely a cool gift to get somebody. There's only like three or four stickers. There's not that many and they're pretty easy to put on. And so judging the set as it is and not whether I have any connection to it or based on anything else, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's definitely a very detailed and high quality set, just like all the LEGO idea sets are. But it's not for me personally, mostly because I don't really have a strong connection to the Friends brand. But anyways, that's it for this review. See you guys later. Peace.